Let me make sure that bitch is dead. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, and I'm your humble narrator. Today we are looking at 10 of my very favorite frags in Rainbow Six Siege. I did five of these myself, I know, shocker, and then five of them were found on the Rainbow Six subreddit, so the links to those user profiles will be in the lower left hand corner. We will go ahead and jump right into it. First up is uh, somewhat of an, an anomaly in this list as it is the player character dying, but regardless, here we go. It's Sledge. This is Sledgey knocking down the door, or trying to knock down the door, and then this terrorist fuck just like... <laughs> It pops up, sticks his face into the hammer, and then Sledge is blown up by the C4 that's behind the door. Absolutely hilarious. Oh my god. What a series of unfortunate events. Which is actually what the, uh, the Reddit post is called. And there's some pretty good replies on there too. If you want to go over, check that out. That would be, uh, quite appreciated by some. I am quite sure of that. Aboosh. Next up we've got a couple clips of Doc. One of the f very favorite operators for uh, new players and old veterans alike. Even young veterans. Is that a thing? I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, Doc is uh, trying to get the spawn peak going. Here he comes running out, getting ready to get some sick kills off the people who are just about to spawn. But Blackbeard ain't having none of it. So satisfying to watch this. Uh, he just busts out the door at the last second, but Blackbeard sees it coming. ACOG. And boom, head. Headshot, just one tapped. That is absolutely gorgeous to watch. I can watch it over and over so many times, endlessly. Ah, poor Doc. In the next clip, Doc does a little bit better though. He stays quite healthy and is able to uh, clutch this match for his team. They have three, and it's a, a 1v3. Doc is gonna take some hits here. Goes down to 21 health, but luckily he's able to heal that right back up. Um, I probably would have used the Stim Pistol twice, but as there's a, a grenade coming in and people see where he is, it's probably good that he didn't try to do that. So there's the second kill, now it's a 1v1. He pulls out the pistol, boom! <laughs> Look at that dude fucking sliding into first. That is crazy! I love it, even on the replay. Huh? Boo boo! <laughs> it's like he's gonna start a breakdance or some shit. Ah, absolute insanity. Stuff like that's why I love Rainbow Six Siege. Super tactical and serious, but also uh, goofy as shit sometimes. So, next clip. Next clip is actually by yours truly. Um, I'm trying to get some shenanigans going with Thermite, and I end up uh, knocking a hole through this door and just plopping one guy in the back of the head. Although not one tapping, as, uh, as would make me feel really cool. It's still really nice. Uh, my team is flanking on the other side of the building, so... It's a really good distraction, he's not expecting anybody to come that way, and that's kind of the reason that I swooped around, also because that's a really easy entry point uh, if you're on that map and the container you're supposed to secure is in that little side room, and your thermite, uh, just blow up the wall, waltz on in. It's pretty nice if people are roaming away from the objective. They had two people in there, P two people in there, I did end up dying uh, shortly after, but that's okay. I really like that uh, nice easy headshot. Next clip, we've got a uh, very nice frag with Buck coming up. Buck is definitely one of my favorite characters as far as attack goes. I go ahead and whip out my underbarrel skeleton key to knock a hole through that door. Little did I know, I actually opened up the wall over there, and uh, a fellow reveals himself to me trying to get an easy shot, but he made a mistake in doing that because I'm able to pitch a grenade right through the wall and blow his shit up fucking fantastic. I, I really like kills like that, and uh, I don't see them as often as I would like to, obviously, because I would like it all the time. But when it does happen, it's really, really sweet, and uh, even if you end up missing, what's the worst that could happen? Blow yourself up, or uh, get a frag, or just waste a grenade. Most of the time, it's just waste a grenade, so I think it's worth the risk. Go ahead, get those frags, get those frags out there, and uh, get some easy kills. Next clip, we've got a very silly kill by Pulse as I'm laying dying in the hallway. He kind of runs over to rescue me but sees one of his dudes go down. And then he does like some quick fucking geometry or some shit in his brain and knows exactly where this guy's coming from. So he uses the shield as cover and bloop, knocks it over and is able to frag that guy in the window, which is absolutely hilarious. 
I do not know how that dude saw it coming or figured out where that guy was or if it was just complete dumb luck. I like to think that he was like, uh, you know, going over the angles in his mind, maybe saw some bullet streaks or something like that and was able to, uh, to see that he was in the window somewhere. But really, that dude shouldn't have been right in the middle of the window. What is up with that? Uh, you got peeked from the side, something like that. Perhaps he was just preparing to swing in or something. But either way, really nice kill by uh, Pulse. I, I really like that kill cam. So not technically me, I guess, but uh, definitely good enough to get stuck in this video here. I see cool shit all the time in Siege. Anyways, next clip is uh, just a bit of revenge. Kind of looking at Jaeger, he mercs Ash from down the hall. I really like this one because Jaeger and Ash are both toxic characters, so it's really nice to see both of them go down in one clip. <laughs> uh, just the worst kind of people are attracted to those characters, and I'm not sure why that is. I guess it's the three speed, and they like Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, something like that. But uh, yeah, Jaeger really gave away his position by shooting, and uh, he got hungry for the kill when I peeked through the doorway. He could have climbed behind the desk and probably been okay, just taken his one kill and been happy with it. But instead he got hungry and decided that maybe he could get two kills and ended up getting murked. Again, not a one tap, but uh, I really like that C-A-M-R-S of Bucks. And uh, again, he is one of my favorite attackers. So did a really good job with him. Happy to get some kills with him. Don't be greedy. That's my advice for you. All right, this is basically a clean sweep of a team, which is absolutely insane to watch. It's basically flanking at exactly the right moment, comes up behind the entire team and just boom, down goes Jackal, down goes Glass, down goes uh, Blitz, down goes Ash. Oh my God, just absolute insanity. Very well played from that fellow right there. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's very rare that I get to see anything like that, especially from that person's perspective. So I do appreciate him uploading it a lot. This is a really sweet kill with Valkyrie. Um, we basically got some dudes hanging out outside. They're trying to get their teammates up and whatever. And I've got my uh, black eye camera out there so I can see exactly what they're doing. I know they're going to try and climb up through this window again. So a little bit of C4 and ba-boom, double kill, which is a little explosion. Super, super nice. And um, yeah, those those are always the best kills to get. And it's really, really easy with Valkyrie. I suppose she would be one of my mains on defense, you know. Um, those cameras, if they're placed right, can just be absolutely devastating. And then she's got that C4, which you can uh, do some silly things with. Blow people up through a wall, through a ceiling, um, if you know that they're there because of the cameras. And definitely more useful than Pulse, because uh, your teammates are also aware and can use the cameras for themselves. So, Valkyrie... One of the older operators, uh, special DLC operators to be released, but still really a force in the game. Uh, people thought Dokebi would nerf her just a little bit, but I don't think that's the case at all. Because if you place your camera smart, then they won't be directly in the objective room. And uh, you should be able to, to snag some easy frags like that. Anyways, next clip is Blitz. He basically flashes Amira and keeps flashing her until she ends up throwing C4 and killing herself. Which is absolutely fucking hilarious. <laughs> I love this so much. She's trying so hard to shoot the dude and he just keeps flashing her. Oh god, that is so funny. And then the sledge comes in at the end he's like, Just let me make sure. Let me make sure that bitch is dead. Oh, she is dead beyond dead. I, I love that. The the only thing better than uh, getting a five, five team kill, whatever you call it, streak, I guess, clutch victory. Uh, yeah, the only thing better than killing five enemies is having one enemy kill themselves with their own C4. <laughs> Obviously, she thought she was facing the correct way, was going to be able to blow that blitz up and stop uh, herself from being flashed to death. I really don't know why that blitz wouldn't just go in and, like, shield smash her or something. But uh, I'm, I'm glad he didn't because it made for a really, really entertaining video. Probably one of my favorites out of this entire list. Uh, I will be collecting some more just so you know. And we will probably do another video like this eventually. Let me know if you guys like the voice commentary things like that. 
or if uh, it's just a bit annoying for you. Because I know that could be the case as well. If you just if you just came here for Rainbow Six Siege and there's some fucking guy you don't know and he's talking, why is that happening? So, uh, please, constructive feedback. I, I, I feed on this. Yes, that's why it's called feedback, I guess. Anyways, <laughs> I appreciate you watching. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, because that is a cool thing to say. And also, I really appreciate uh, when any of those things happen. Puts a big smile on my face. We've also got uh, Twitter, Discord, Patreon links all down in the description. If you want to hit me up on one of those, support me in any way on any of those platforms. That would be very, very appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, friends. This has been Rainbow Six Siege, Funny Frags. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one, friends, which will probably be uh, a fails video or some other type of Let's Play, uh, depending when this goes up. So we'll see about it. I'll do my best. Anyways, I'll see you then, friends. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.